Hey guys, so we're here, back in with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Masterverse He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Skeletor. <laughs> Wait a minute, he didn't sound like that. Let me let me try and uh, mimic how the Skeletor sounded in that series. Skeletor. <laughs> Something crazy maniacal like that, all right? Either way, this is brought to us by the fine folks over at. Say it with me now, as well as my good buddy, Evil Villain, who, as I mentioned in the He-Man review I posted earlier today, check that out if you haven't already, really appreciate it if you did, hooked up not only Skeletor here, but also that He-Man in a somewhat recent trade we did. I don't know, it was probably a while ago now, but regardless, I'll leave a link in the description below to his Instagram. Head on over there, give him a follow, let him know I sent you, and all that good stuff. So... Not sure if this is a hot take or not, but I gotta be honest with you, probably one of the best versions of Skeletor in the history of Master of the Universe. Not only was he funny, he was evil as all get out. Like, this guy was totally okay with destroying the world. Like, that's what I like in my Skeletor. I'm gonna be a little funny, I'm gonna be maniacal as heck. And this guy and the Mark Hamill Skeletor in the Revelation Revolution series definitely uh, do that for me. Especially Revolution Skeletor. Like, Mark Hamill deserves an award for that performance. I hope he gets one. Well deserved. So, with that being said, let's cut right to the chase and get into the meat and taters of this review. And take a look-see at Skeletor's accessories. It comes with a few. Same amount as He-Man. He comes with a pair of hands that are opposite to what he has on him he's got a fist on the left grip on the right fist for the right grip for the left and i will tell you the grip hands much like he-man's have a little groove in them to hold his havoc staff this big chunk of plastic here i really wish this ram's head was a little lighter like a hard plastic instead of this p it's pvc it feels like and it is pretty heavy um the staff part is whatever, kind of hollow there on the bottom, as if that matters. And then he's got this metal chain, which I like to wrap around the wrist. That said, was this wielded by his left or his right hand in the series? I want to say it was the left, because that's the side with the, the skeleton in here. And that's uh, what happened when he grabbed hold of the Havoc staff. He got that skeleton hand, so... I'm not 100% sure what's going on there, but uh, if somebody could let me know, I would greatly appreciate that. So taking a closer look at uh, not the Gravedigger mascot, although he looks like it quite a bit, um, I love this figure. This is an awesome Skeletor. He is a freaking Chungus, like a big Chungus compared to the He-Man. I'll bring him up for comparison in a little bit, but... I love the aesthetic of this Skeletor. He's just big, beefy, bulky, and one of the few occasions where he is actually bigger than He-Man. So, uh, you know, I like my villains to be a little bit bigger than their heroes, just to add some intimidation factor. You know, and it makes sense, and usually I have Skeletor, you know, the same size as He-Man, height-wise, but a little skinnier. This time, they made him bigger. Like, really big, compared to He-Man. He's like a friggin' gorilla from hell or something but either way you can see the ram skull with the horns that wrap around him it's got the spikes on the shoulders it's got the loin piece here his clawed feet his big beefy arms his skeleton in here but uh with that being said his articulation he's got the double uh neck joint here it's got the hinge but the hood is gonna hinder it and i like the way this hood is like designed how it is like super open here so you can see the chest also kind of reminds me of the uh horseman of death from darksiders for some reason but uh really like the aesthetic of the skeletor i like it a lot uh shoulders can go out a little hindered by the armor there back down i will tell you i had a little trouble getting this shoulder to work initially but it works fine now um, it felt a little stuck but all i had to do was push it past a certain point and it worked fine 
this shoulder, I will say, uh, not as tight, but not loose. Also, the bicep doesn't seem to fit on quite as good as this one, but whatever. Um, not worried about that. But he does have a bicep swivel. He does have a double elbow. Which I will tell you, the bottom joints on this guy are really tight. Especially this side. If I could even get this side to crack. Um, I, I heated this side and it's still difficult to bend. Like, holy how he socky ninjas Batman. This is a stiff joint. Yeah, I can't get that to move anymore. So, uh, as opposed to giving myself arthritis, we're just gonna straighten that back out. Like, you could see all the plastic there. There's a lot of plastic on this face. So much plastic. Um, straighten his arms back out. He does have like He-Man, the gauntlet swivel, as well as the hinge swivel wrists. Really would have liked the up and down hinge on the wrist with this guy, especially since he does have the Havoc staff. Uh, the little skeleton hand, it does rotate on the forearm there, so you can get range out of that. This feels like a hard plastic piece. Not sure if this is glued on or what's going on here, but now you know. Um, he's got the uh, diaphragm joint. The old school Masterverse diaphragm joint, which uh, does kind of suck. I think these guys would have benefited from that tighter uh, rotating one. But uh, we do have a waist twist there. Uh, his hips are actually on the ball pegs that uh, most Masterverse are on, which is very odd because the He-Man is on those really tight disc hinges. So I don't know why the two are different, but uh, they're not loose. Definitely not as bad as Skelegod, so that's a plus. Uh, he can rotate forward and back. He's got a thigh cut. Double knee. Again, very tight there. He's got a uh, calf swivel, which I will say the calf swivel on uh, both of mine, kind of loose, but again, not horrible. And he does have a hinge in the foot with a rocker. You can hear how tight that is. And then he does have pickles at the bottom of the feet. If you want to put him on a stand. But he's got big, chunky feet. You shouldn't need to do that. But the option is there if you want to do it. That's all. The choice is yours. Uh, so there you go. There is Skeletor. Big, beefy mother trucker from the CGI He-Man series. Best version of this version of Skeletor we have and again like the He-Man I have the, uh, the $10 version of this guy also a clearance purchase funny enough um, but I'm debating on getting rid of that because I just don't I need to make space in the old collection room and you know stuff like that that's just kind of sitting in a tote doesn't really uh, have a purpose now does it so moving him over, we'll bring in his nephew He-Man, or Adam, I should say. And you can see how much bigger he is than him, which is ridiculous, because I thought they would be utilizing the same arms and stuff. They are not. They are not the same bucks at all. I thought they would just be reused. So uh, they shelled out quite a bit of dough for these two, and uh, it's a shame we're probably not going to get to see any more characters. I would have liked a Beast Man and a Trap Jaw in this line uh, from this series, but probably not going to see that. We'll like to see more with Hordak from this series, too. Turns out he's uh, old lady's daddy, or old man. But uh, before we wrap this thing up, let's bring in our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus, who again might be replaced soon. I don't know. He's in trouble. Horseman made a home run figure that I just got, and I gotta tell you, he's pretty cool. He has the same weapon, too. Uh, and then we have the infamous Nkai 11 Spawn, who is probably on par with Skeletor here. Eh, Skeletor is a little shorter, but not by a ton. So, uh, with that being said, before I list out any other characters I'd like from a series that got canned, 
Getting a little sad about that. A little bummed out about that. That does suck. I did like the first season after all. Uh, why don't we wrap things up with some final thoughts. Overall, and much like I said before in the He-Man review I posted earlier today, again, check that out if you haven't already. We'd really appreciate it if you did. If you are looking for the best possible version of Skeletor from the Netflix CGI He-Man in the Masters of the Universe series, then look no further. But if that series was not your cup of tea, easy pass. On top of the fact that this guy was half price, along with the fact that I did like the show, and bonus points for the fact that he does kind of look like the Gravedigger mascot, not gonna lie, this was a definite must-have for me. I think this was one of the best incarnations of Skeletor throughout the history of Masters of the Universe. And, much like ye old 2000X days, I always prefer Skelly to He-Man. That's just how I've been. That's how I am. How I always will be. That said, much like He-Man, not a perfect figure. It's got its flaws, especially in the hips. Very surprised they didn't go with the ratcheted disc hinge hips over the ball hips because they are a little bit loose on this guy but nothing compared to Skelegod mind you so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this review until next time I'll catch you guys later <laughs>